What's up, Crypto Crew, and welcome back, or if this is your first time, I'm Captain Crypto Might, actively escaping the matrix, scoping out the crypto oceans. If you like your odds, get on the boat, stay up to date, thumbs up, and join the hunt. Into the boat! Crypto Crew, after months and months of going sideways, Casper seems to finally make some moves, and going off recent events, Casper may be set for a major breakout. Especially once Binance, the biggest crypto exchange in the world, finally spotless Casper. Always remember crypto crew, success during this 2024-2025 bull run comes to those who patiently wait. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience and patience experience and experience hope. Casper is uh, a proof of work uh, layer one that uh, has definitively solved the blockchain trilemma. They currently operate at one block per second, uh, and that means we see about, on average, 300 transactions per second, uh, and a hard fork is coming later this year, or maybe first of of next year, January, uh, called Crescendo, where we'll see that move from one block per second to 10 blocks per second, and and from 300 to 3,000 transactions per second. So what we're seeing is essentially the throughput of Solana on a truly decentralized uh, layer one. You look at the consensus mechanism it's all proof of work now before we get in today's video crypto crew remember that caspa is an asset it is the silver to bitcoin's gold and with precious metals like gold or silver it will only increase in value over time so make it a habit to store your crypto investments and your caspas offline on a cold storage your best option in my opinion is the tangent wallet plug and play and easy to use allowing you to have self custody over your crypto investments on top of that, not only do I believe that the Tangent Wallet is the most easy to use, it is also the most affordable option for you. So if you wish to order your Tangent Wallet today, you can get 20% off for a limited time. Check out the link in the description box below. Thank you for your consideration and support in advance, and thank you for all who have ordered your Tangent using my referral link. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you all. What other cryptocurrency should you buy? What's the next Bitcoin? Well, Crypto Crew, today we're talking about the blockchain trilemma, what it entails, and why Caspa can actually solve it. Let's start with the basics. What is the blockchain trilemma? The blockchain trilemma is a concept introduced by Ethereum's founder, Vitalik Buterin. It's the idea that blockchains can only optimize a maximum of two out of three key features, security, decentralization, and scalability. Let's break these down. Security means the network is safe from attacks. No one can manipulate transactions or take control of the blockchain. Decentralization means no single entity controls the network. It's run by thousands or even millions of independent participants. Scalability. Scalability means the network can handle a lot of transactions quickly and efficiently, similar to Visa or MasterCard. Most blockchains have to sacrifice one of these to achieve the two other, and sometimes are not even able to achieve the two other. And this is why the trilemma is such a big deal. It is the reason crypto hasn't reached its full potential of potentially replacing the current failing fiat system. Think about it. If crypto is going to replace traditional finance, it needs to be fast, secure, and decent centralized. However, so far, no blockchain has been able to check all these three boxes. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana have all made progress, but they also have hit major roadblocks. Let's take a closer look. Let's start with the OG of all crypto, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is incredibly secure and decentralized, but it's not scalable. It can only handle about seven transactions per second, which is nowhere near enough for worldwide adoption. Then there's Ethereum, which also is secure and decentralized allegedly but has struggled with scalability as well in his years of its existence ethereum still has slow transaction speeds and unbelievably high gas fees which have proven to be a huge problem especially during times of high demand let's talk about solana solana is super fast and scalable but it sacrifices decentralization its network is controlled by smaller numbers of validators which make it more vulnerable to centralized risks and throughout the year Solana has proven to have network issues in 2022 Solana had seven total outages 
In January, it even had one whole week of degraded performance. So yes, Solana's performance was terrible in 2022 compared to other networks. And it seems they have fixed most of the problems in 2023. There was only one network outage in 2023 happening in February. Solana did go down again on Dece in December of 2020. It was down for about six hours, and that's how long it took basically for the nodes to communicate with each other, with the developers to figure out how to jumpstart the network. Now, what's happened this time has to do with Radium and their IDO of Grape Protocol. Solana is a blockchain that is known for really fast, cheap transactions. It's, it's a certain trade-off that we're seeing with uh, uh, this fast blockchain. On Saturday, February 25th, the Solana blockchain went offline again, 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 creating conflicting versions of its transaction history. This led to a significant decrease in the network transaction throughput and effectively froze all on-chain activity. Validators and network engineers suspected a bug in the new version of the Solana code that had come online just hours before, which led some validators to downgrade to the previous version in hopes of reviving Solana's throughput. When that didn't work, a more drastic solution was proposed, restarting the entire chain to the point immediately prior to the forking. Even now, key voices in the Solana ecosystem are still trying to identify the culprit. But really at the end of the day, is Solana decentralized or not? Like the fact that they have to have so many team members like working around the clock to fix things, does this make it less decentralized? And is Solana going to sustain? Or are we just going to continue to use layer twos for Ethereum? Or maybe we get an Ethereum upgrade that actually fixes a lot of the problems. As you can see, Crypto Crew, every major crypto project has had to compromise. This is where Casper comes in. Casper is the only crypto project to solve the trilemma. It's secured, decentralized, and scalable all at the same time. Let's explain in simple terms. Casper uses a revolutionary technology called the block DAG. Unlike traditional blockchains, where blocks are added one at a time in a single chain, Casper's block DAG allows multiple blocks to be added simultaneously. Think of it like a highway with multiple lanes instead of a single road. This makes Casper super fast without sacrificing security while staying fully decentralized. And here's the best part, Casper's network is powered by a proof of work just like Bitcoin, which makes it secure. And since Casper is proof of work, that means Casper has to be mined like silver, which is what Casper means in Aramaic, the language in which the Lord Jesus Christ taught. Unlike Bitcoin, Casper can handle thousands of transactions per second, all the while being fully decentralized. No shortcuts, no compromises, just pure innovation. And so in that sense, Casper is more Bitcoin than Bitcoin. There are several projects that uh, can offer, allegedly offer what we can offer, but the way they do it is by giving an arguably unreasonable, unreasonably weaker uh, definition of what security is and what confirmation security is. In Casper, when we talk about confirmation ties, we mean with the same security that you would get for waiting six blocks in Bitcoin. 2025 is going to be a massive year for Casper with three major catalysts that will take the project to the next level. A. Crescendo in Q1 2025. In the first quarter of 2025, Casper will reach a major milestone running on 10 blocks per second, making Casper officially the fastest crypto project on the crypto ocean. This isn't just a speed upgrade, it is an entire game changer. 4790K. Dell uh, mini PC running the brand new release of 10 blocks per second testnet 11. So you can see it's accepting 12 blocks, 19 blocks, 2 blocks, 14 blocks. So it's totally rocking. Uh, it took a little while to catch up and do the IBD and get all the blocks it needs from the last three days in order to be able to be synced. But uh, it's this little piss squeak right here. I mean, this thing is 11 years old. It's got 16 gigs of RAM and a solid state drive and the top of the line four core hyper threaded Intel CPU from 11 years ago. Nice job there, core team, Mr. Sutton, Ori, and everybody else. The crescendo means Casper can handle more transactions than ever before, more than even Solana at the moment, without the network congestion, making it the perfect network for payment systems worldwide, DFI, and 
beyond. B. Smart contracts. In addition to the crescendo, Casper will launch its own smart contracts in the summer of 2025. Crypto Crew, these aren't just any smart contracts. Casper smart contracts are designed to be lightweight, efficient, and scalable. This upgrade will open the door to a whole new world of possibilities from DeFi and NFTs to decentralized apps. It will take Casper's utility to the next level. C. Dagnite. And finally, we have Dagnite. This is the brainchild of Casper's founder, Jonathan Sompolinski, which has been years in the making. Dagnite will be a major upgrade to Casper's current block DAG technology. It is designed to make the network even faster, more secure, and more efficient. Jonathan Sompolinski has been working tirelessly on this because he knows Dagnite is the key to unlocking Casper's full potential. When Dagnite launches, it will cement Casper's position position as the most advanced crypto project in the world. And this is why I say Casper isn't just revolutionary because of its tech, it's also evolutionary because of what it stands for and what developers in the future may look towards as the standard to taking crypto in a whole different direction. Crypto Crew, this is why Casper is so special. It's not just another crypto project, it is the only crypto project that can solve the blockchain trilemma. It is fast, secure, decentralized, and scalable, ready to explode on the crypto ocean. With Casper going sideways for most of 2024 and 2025 just around the corner, the future has never looked brighter for Casper and its community. As the word of God says, prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Crypto crew, I wish for you to have eternal life by repentance, i.e. believing in the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, which will also allow you to store treasures up in heaven. But until then, I wish for you to store as much treasure in this temporary life for starters during this 2024-2025 bull run. So if you're a Caspa ambassador, a Caspa maxi, or just invested in Caspa, know what you hold. Do not be distracted because you don't see success just yet. This is why we walk by faith and not by sight. Stick around. Fix your mind before you get to the grind. And with that said, let's continue to escape the matrix. Let's continue to be on the lookout for the next big thing here on the crypto ocean. Grow in grace and let's make some crypto waves. Say I.